Designing with Fullman's Panels The first thing to consider is the width of the panel. It's 1220 wide and it comes in different lengths as well. So 2440, 2740, 350 and also a 6.1 meter long panel. This optimization process we call panelization, coming from panels. So thinking about the width of the panel and then using halves and thirds and fourths all around the structure to actually minimize the wastage. Let's look at this scenario. We put To form the wall, we put two panels next to each other, but then putting just a half of the panel because that's the location we need for the window. But we can really use the other half on the other side. If the window was smaller, we could use offcuts at the bottom and the top of it and really minimize the wastage again, which basically covers most of the situations we might have. Now this is all very possible at the beginning of the design, but if we have a late stage of design where a client signed off the plans already but is now keen on performance panels, it's all great, we are excited, but we have to be able to do it quickly to not lose too much time. Let's look at this elevation. We put a grid lines over, over the elevations to just see where the panels are going to be sitting. And quite quickly we realize that by shifting a window 50 mil left or right, we might be able to use offcuts much more optima, optimum. We believe it does give you the design freedom back. You can go as crazy as you want using offcuts all around the structure and it really does make a difference. Also part of formants, there are standard details, standard solutions that you can use and it gives you the ability to do, let's say, parapet walls again. It just becomes a feasible solution. Doing it like this, basically putting roof panel on top of the wall panel and then off cut of the wall panel to form the parapet, it really, you know, you have uninterrupted, insulated and sealed structure. Just like that, there's other standard formants details that are just a standard but offer you things that you can't do with any other system. So let's, let's look at this one. We usually stop roof panels on the parameter of the house because it really doesn't make sense to insulate the soffits and overhangs. But now, on the other hand, we might as well want to use the potential of structural poten potential of the panel. These are really like large I-beams, so they span very nicely. So you have two options, whether to frame the soffits or extend the roof panels over to form the overhangs. But now looking back to the first one, this large timber insert to actually close, to close SIP panels can be utilized as a lintel as well. So that if, if the lintel is actually in the roof panel, then all of a sudden we can do full height windows again. And that really is just a standard formant solution. As part of standard formant details, there's another few exciting things. We understand that SIPs are very good high performance insulation and airtight barrier. But now conventionally we'd be putting mid floor on top of the wall. How do we really insulate between the joists? So maybe we could put beds in, but really how do we make it airtight as well? Maybe expendable foam. With foam and standard details, this solution is much easier. We use top flange metal jo joist hangers for the mid floor. So in this manner, we, don't, we, we basically maintain the building envelope uninterrupted all around the house. And that really is just a standard form and solution. Formance panels are not a cladding. So you keep your libraries for cladding nicely organized. We just offer you a substitute for the structure and really only good substitute there is good insulation and good structure. Formance panels are an excellent bracing wall again. Smart solutions trying to utilize the panels and minimize the wastage, this just comes natural with formance panels. Standardly we would put seal plate at the bottom, bottom plate for the formance panels, with a top plate and also a cap plate to evenly spread the load throughout the sheets. 
and then mid-floor joists like before. This gives us the ability to use standard internal uh, wall lining as well as ceiling lining. And we can achieve a standard internal height, ceiling height, to align nicely with conventional internal walls as well. Let's look at it again. So we, we started with 18 mil seal plate, 45 mil bottom plate inside 2740 Foreman's panel, 45 mil top plate and 45 mil cap plate, 200 mil LVL joists, 10 mil clearance for internal lining at the bottom, and then using standard. 1200 and wide line 1350 lining for the uh, for the walls one ceiling battens and ceiling lining and we achieve 2560 standard ceiling height there's obviously a variety of options here this is just one example how smart these solutions can be foreman's panels really gives you the design freedom back design freedom is not costing you a fortune all these beautiful designs are done using Foreman's panels, using the potential of the span, great insulation, great bracing capacity, and easy to deal with. That's what Foreman says.